when you have a full of joy in your heart, you will laugh. You will sing. You will praise God. Because it's God who give, gives, gives you gives you that joy. And uh, you will not know when you that laughing will come from your mouth. Because God is uh, the one who is uh, leading you every day, teaching you, protecting you, and doing everything in your life. So this means that when you have that God in you, you know exactly that uh, you are full of joy and uh, you are special man and you are special lady and you are special son and you are special daughter. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We praise God again this morning as we gather again. But let me tell you something. Do not see that uh, just uh, we are just uh, not a uh, lot of people in this uh, congregation. But God wants to use you. God wants to use me and use all of us. Then the people will come. Because God, when God is doing miracle in our life, things that the people never, never thought that, that we will see in our life, when they are started to see this, they will see, ah, I am going there too. I will go there too to see what is going on there. Hallelujah. Amen. So that why we who are here now, we have to be strong. We have to be strong and uh, all the way, hallelujah, Amen. full of uh, the joy that God has given to us and uh, testify to others that uh, with God, uh, we are full of joy. And that we see us the way we are, the way we are acting, the way we are, our face is, is, is like. And they will see, man, these people are different. Why we are we be different? Because we have God in us. Because we know who is our maker. Because we believe in the Savior who saved us. We are not anymore slave. We are free from our sin. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That why we are always, hallelujah, here to praise our God. Amen. That why we are here always to sing the, from the glory of our God. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, as we are here, God wants to again to teach us about uh, something important and uh, I'm not going to talk much but just uh, some point that uh, we may share this morning as God uh, just wants to talk to us. And uh, I always say this, if the spirit is connected, you will have the same uh, word from God as John always say something that uh, connects exactly of what uh, God is going to share with us this morning. Amen. That means our spirit is connected. And we are connected together with the spirit of God. And that's why we can be together. Amen. But if the spirit is not connected, we will think a wrong thing against each other. But when the spirit is connected together, Hallelujah. God can work through us all. Yes. Through you, through me, through Rufus, through Josephine, through Eli, through Manasseh, to all of us, and all who are here this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Even though those who are not here this morning, even though they will be in their house, maybe they are sick, maybe they have a, a something to do, that's why they are not here, but uh, hallelujah. Amen. The Spirit will connect to them, Amen. and they will know what exactly God said to us this morning. Amen. And uh, they will be in the same uh, stage with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is moment we thank God 
And we give him thanks because he's here again with his love and word for us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My uh, message title this morning is uh, Expect God's Best. Expect God's the Best. Expect God's the Best. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And the message is from Psalm chapter 5, verse 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you read that for me, brother? Zara can read that. Zara read that is in the book. On the book. Hallelujah. Listen to my voice in the morning. Please, sister. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. Hallelujah. Amen. In this Psalms chapter 5, verse 3, it said, When David is telling to God, to listen to him. He said, listen to my voice in the morning. I said, we are here this morning. Oh Lord. This morning I bring my request to you. And then wait with expectation or wait expectantly. Or wait in hope that you will give me the answer. Hallelujah. When someone tell you listen to me, what that person want to tell to to let to tell you? If someone is say listen to me, what that person want to tell you, brother, sister? Yes. If someone say listen to me, please. He want to tell. He wants to you to. He want to tell you something, and he say let listen to me. Something very important he wants to tell you. And then listen to me here as we are saying to God, asking God, asking him to what you said to that person to do for you. So here, David, in his prayer in this psalm, uh, 5 verse 3. He said to God, that listen to my voice in this morning, in the morning. Hallelujah. That means David came to God exposing something in God's face and saying to God, my father, this time I come to you. But when I come to you this morning, is that you have to listen what I'm going to say to you. And when you listen this, it's my request that I'm come I'm bringing to you this morning. And I'm waiting that you will do what I ask for. Hallelujah. This is a mean prayer that last week we learned about the prayer. And they say the request, my request, I bring you my request. Do you end wait in hope? Wait with uh, expect uh, with uh, expectation. Waiting that uh, you I will receive the right answer from you. Hallelujah. Amen. But in this day, uh, but here this morning, that means when we are saying to someone. Listen to me is mean pay attention to me. Follow the instruction that I am telling you to follow. Do exactly as I tell you. And the result that he is expecting from you must be fulfilled. That when the person is telling you, listen to me carefully, when I am talking that you after talking all that uh, I bring to you, all what I say to you, I now waiting that uh, I may receive the response or the answer back. I'm not telling you to listen to me just and do not do what I'm saying to you. So that why David in his prayer, he said to God, Almighty God, Listen to my voice 
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When, if we can ask God to listen to us, if we Christian today, in our prayer, every morning, every uh, night, if we come and bow our knee in the front of our God and say, God, I come to you this morning. Oh, God, I come to you this time. And I want you to listen to me. And uh, this is my request. I want you to do this for me. Hallelujah. And uh, I am waiting till I get that thing from you. It's a request that we are telling God to fulfill for us. But before we as a Christians, we call God or we ask God to listen to us, we as a Christian, we have a duty or a responsibility. Hallelujah. To, 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 to acknowledge to ourselves every day, if we or so, we listen to God when God is speaking to us. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, you have to go inside of yourself first. If, when I'm asking God now to listen to me, and do what I'm asking him to do for me. And ask yourself, if you or so you are listening to God when God is saying to you, listen to me. The, the matter is here that we as a Christian, we have to listen to God first. And when we are listening to God, when God is speaking or talking to us, through his word and uh, give us an uh, uh, instruction to follow, we must follow it. We, sh we, should, we should follow that instruction. And when we follow that instruction, we have uh, a clear heart to come not to God and say to God, God, listen to my Hallelujah. Listen to my voice. Because you are so, you always listen to God's voice. David know this. And know really that it is the one who listens to God when God talking to him. And then he come to God in a situation that he could never do it by himself. That's why he came to God and said, this is the moment. That you, my God, you have to listen to my voice. Hallelujah. And do what I'm asking you to do for me. Hallelujah. Amen. All this we want God to do. For us when we come to talk to him about our situation. We call God to do something for us. About our situation in which we are in. And we are calling him to listen our voice. That means asking God to listen to you. It's a telling God. It's a, you are telling him. This is what is you want. You, you want God to do for you. When you are asking God to listen to you. It's a telling him what you want him to do for you. It's a asking him, asking God to do something you, you desire. Something you desire. You ask him God to do that for you. Hallelujah. When you ask him God to listen to you, it's a you are praying God to Satisfy your needs. You are pleading God to satisfy your needs. Asking God to listen to you is that you are explaining. 
complaining to God your problem and want him to resolve them for you. Hallelujah. Asking God to listen to you, you are telling him or explaining him what is going on in your heart now. And you want him to resolve that for you. That's why we as a Christian today, we have this knowledge to say to God, listen to my voice in this situation. Because I do know that it's you only can resolve it for me. But I come to you with all my heart. Because I am always listening to you. Then this is the time that you have to let you, let you listen to me too. And do it for me. Hallelujah. You know, we as a parents, when we, our kids obey us, According to what we say to them, they have a connection to come to us directly and ask us something. But if they don't, they, they don't do this exactly as we recommend them to do, they are scared. They say, ah, maybe sometimes please can tell to a, a Gloria, go to daddy and ask him this. Because maybe she does something that I am not happy with, but if she wants she want something from me, she will tell the glory of God, glory of God to that. And this is uh, the life of our Christianity. If you are not right with God, as God does read in uh, uh, Psalm 1, verse 20, uh, Psalm 1, yeah, 25. 25 this morning, that when you are good to God, God will be good for you. He is the healer, hallelujah. Amen. And we are, and we can't, no one can remove us. Amen. We are children of God. That's why we are called to be connected to God on obedience and listen to Him. And when we are, we call Him to listen to us, He can listen to us. Yes. Because He said in uh, uh, Isaiah 50, 59, verse 1, that uh, my eyes, my ears are not uh, down. Yes? Death. Death. I can listen to you when you call me. And uh, my, my hand are not uh, short. I can stretch my hand and rescue you. But what you can do is to obey me. Maybe it's your sin or your, 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 your life who is become a barrier between you and God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you read Isaiah 59? Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 59, verse 1. Isaiah 59, verse 1. Fifty-nine, yes. Listen now, the Lord isn't too weak to save you. Hallelujah. Listen now, the God is not too weak to, to do what? To save you. To save you. Continue. And, and he isn't getting deaf. He can hear you when you call. It's not, he's not deaf to listen to you when you call him. Yes. But the problem is that your sins have cut you off from God. And what disobedience has cut us off from connecting to God. Hallelujah. Amen. When David prayed in uh, asking God to give a, a, a Solomon pray, sorry, Solomon pray and ask God to give him a wisdom, God gave a wisdom to Solomon. And God said, because you are right before me, your dad was a, a David was a, a, a great a, a man before me. That's why when you ask wisdom, you, you ask the right thing. And then I will give you wisdom plus hallelujah. Amen. And riches and a lot of things. Hallelujah. Amen. And nobody can be compared to you because you ask the right thing that I expect you to ask. Hallelujah. Amen. So that why when we are in the will of God, Hallelujah. Amen. God always do and does what we ask him to do. When we are 
are doing the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God provide us the right thing we desire for. It's a God who, who will give you that knowledge to ask things that is in his will. Because we are in his will and doing his will. And he will give us what our heart desire is. And we will get it from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is our heavenly father. And we know that every good gift and every perfect gift is from him. Hallelujah. Amen. James chapter 1 Verse 17 says, Hallelujah. Praise God. James chapter 1, verse 17 says this. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Hallelujah. That's why David in his prayer, knowing that when he Come to, we come to God and ask God to listen to him. God is ready to give him what he asked for. Because every good thing comes from above, from the Father of heaven and the earth. He is our provider. Good things come from God. That's why God wants us to be in him always. Because we say always God is good all the time. And that's why we who are in God, we have to have that heart who are good enough because we are living in someone who is already good. And then we who are in him, we are also good. Because we are always listening to what God said to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In my dream for last week, I, I believe that uh, uh, John Wiper bought a, a white car. And I said, okay, maybe that will come. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. A white big, big car, no small car, big car. I said, hallelujah. Amen. I said, okay, this is God what to do. God, you can do it. This is your lovely family. You can bless them. Because they know you. You can bless them. If you, are, if you bless them, people will know that yes, it's you who bless them. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we as a Christian, the good thing that we ask for is from above. That's why we have to be a good listener to the word of God. And when we listen to God, God also can listen to us when we call him. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the Bible said. When we ask God to listen to you, to our voice, He listens. And do what we hope for. But we have to ask according to His will and not our will. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have to know this clearly. Do not ask God to do your will, but His will. <coughs> do not ask God to do your will, but his will. And we know the will of God when we are in him, we are doing his will. And when we have something that is exactly God's will, that, that thing we will ask for. Because we are in God's will. And we know God's will. And when we are we go to ask something, God will give us that spirit of knowledge to ask exactly what is the will of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when we are in God's will, I say, and doing God's wills, we can know what God the best is. Hallelujah. When we are in God's will, and doing God's will, we can know what God's best is, as I said, expect God's best. When we are in doing God's will, 
and we are in God's will, we can know what God's best is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the, the best, the best, uh, uh, the best, uh, the God the best that we will know is uh, the will of God that when we ask something, may the will in the will of God and God will give that good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That means we are called to trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Hallelujah. Amen. Take a delight. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Lord. And He will give you the desire of your heart. When we delight in God, when we all we doing God's will, He is going to give us the desire of our heart. Hallelujah. Because it's a good father for us. And then you know, we as a parent the same. When my kids or your children are doing your will, you are pleased of them. And when they come, they come to you asking you something, but you will try by many ways and satisfy them. But when sometimes they are not, uh, they are uh, sometimes stubborn, you are not happy. You know this? This is the same thing by God. God wants us to be, hallelujah, delight in Him. To delight in God is to God. It's obey God. It's uh, respect His uh, recommendation and do exactly what He asks you to you to do. And then He will give you the desire of your heart. Hallelujah. The Psalms 39, verse 3 to 7. Man, if I can read that for us. Psalm 39. Psalm 37, 3 to 7. Quick as possible. Psalm 37, 3 to 7. 3 to 7, I read. Trust in the Lord instead. Trust in the Lord instead. Be kind and good to others. Be kind and be good to others. Then you will live safely here in the land and prosper. Hallelujah. This is my brother say already this morning. You see, the Spirit is always there to talk to us when we are connected exactly to God. Spirit and the Spirit leading us all the way. Hallelujah, continue. Feeling in safety, be delighted with the Lord, then He will give you all your heart desires. Hallelujah. There's the, the delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desire of your heart. Continue. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust Him. To Trust God. Him and He will do this. Hallelujah. Continue. Your in innocence will be clear to everyone. He Hallelujah. Will vindicate you with the blessing. Your innocence will be clear for everyone. When you trust the Lord, when you do exactly what God said to you, and uh, your innocence will be hallelujah, will be clear for everyone. He will make your righteousness a reward, shine like the dawn. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noon day sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret. When the people succeed in their ways, when they, can, they, they carry out their wicked shame, do not be angry with them, but you trust in the Lord. And God will do what you are waiting from Him to do for you. Let that, as a Christian, our desire is in the will of God. But our own will is out of the God's desire. It is very important for we who are Christian that we should listen to God first in everything and follow all his instruction, as we call him.
him God, we call this God's will. And God, with God's will, we are in, created in us more space to love God and increase our faith and know clearly what we could ask God according to his will. First Kings chapter 3, verse 12. Can you read that for me, brother? Hallelujah. Amen. I say, we have to learn as a Christian, our desire is in the will of God. And when we do in the will of God, we will know the desire, our desire that God will reflect to us. And when we ask this thing, God will be going to give that thing exactly what as a key that's put down already and bless it for us. Amen. But our all the will is out of God's desire. It is, it is very important for we who are Christian that we should listen to God first in everything and follow all his instructions that we call God's will. And God's will we are in creates in us more space to love God and increase our faith and know clearly what we could ask God according to his way. First Kings chapter 3 verse 12. And Isaiah, okay, yes, that's true. First Kings chapter 3 verse 12. Yes, I will give you what you ask for. Hallelujah. Yes, I will give you what you ask for. When the son will pray, and ask God a wisdom. Yes, brother. I will give you a wiser mind than a wiser mind. Yes. Than anyone else has ever had. Or and uh, that's uh, anyone that has never had or have. ever will have. And uh, we have Solomon asked the right thing according to God's desire, and God said, "I will give you what you ask, because this man, you know, Solomon." Is uh, doing the will of God. And when he asked that the desire of his heart, God said, that is all right. That I'm looking for you to ask. And that's why I'm going to give you that thing. Continue in 13. And I will also give you what you didn't ask for. And then God will add more things that you didn't ask for. Hallelujah. Riches yes. and honor. Hallelujah. If you are in the will of God, you will know what is the desire of God, and that the desire of God is also your desire. And when you ask that 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 thing that is 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 your desire, it will be it will be connected to God's desire, and God will say yes. This is a you are you are looking for you to have. You ask the right thing, but it's not enough for you. I will add more for you. Riches and honor. Ask my brother said already that he asked your wisdom. Hallelujah. That means it's not that we are not yet saying I have to come uh, uh, I'm a rich because I want to be rich, that's why I am in church. No. We want a peace first. That why some ask a wisdom to lead Israel to know how to judge in a right decision, make the right decision. All in his kingdom and kingdom. That why God say you right, you ask the right thing. Because this is the desire of a Solomon. And it's also the will of God. And God gave him, gave him that wisdom and said, I will give you also riches 